What is up guys? I am Zoltar424. Welcome back to another Witcher 3 gameplay and commentary. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out and an appreciation and thanks to all you guys who have followed and have been there as we have crossed the thousand subscriber threshold. I cannot thank you enough. For all of you who have watched these videos here as I've been putting out on Witcher 3 and also the voices that I've been doing throughout the channel. We'll keep those up definitely. So as we're getting into this video, I would like to say that we have now reached basically the end of the main story. The main story that deals with finding Siri, helping her with her purpose and everything. So the video is being released this week is going to be the final part of her story. Yes, Carol. But fear not, there will be more Witcher 3 coming as we will be going right into the Blood and Wine DLC. Went by your now there are two DLCs did not make a mess. with this, Blood Didn't and Wine and Heart of Stone. I'm going to go with Blood and Wine first, abilities. particularly as my favorite out of both of them. Fortunately, so no I want to go ahead and start there first. Experiments with the gene. Elder blood, so that's not important. That's pretty much it on that I as far as announcements. To protect Siri, to protect Guys, blood while we're at it, you find yourself it. liking this video, by all means hit that like button and subscribe for more Witcher 3. Now let's get into the video. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm -hmm. A she-elf claimed you hate Siri. So how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enche elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Tell me something more about Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaving him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Karanthir, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal.
Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skelligan looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. We found the Sunstone. Gail Barnes gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. And with that, let's move on to the next phase, shall we? You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just the star of this series. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature, nothing of great interest to you. Right, because I'm just a simple witcher. Simple, yet with so many complexes. Not now, Geralt. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple, which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nargle Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Wow, Amir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you'll do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive, speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me. Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers.
Triss, everything all right? Yes. I just wanted a moment to talk to you before... before it begins. Chin up. The hunt's weakened. We've got... No, no more about the battle. Just hold me and say something nice. There's a lighthouse not far from here, you know. Geralt, are you suggesting we... No. Well, at least not right now. Just wanted to say... Wanted to say that since... Since Novigrad, whenever I see the beam of a lighthouse, I feel good thinking of you. Unbelievable. You said something romantic. You, Geralt of Rivia. Moment of weakness. Well, none of those during the battle, please. If anything should happen to you... Can't think about that. So what am I supposed to think about? Emir Var Emris, on parade, completely naked. Ah, uh, Geralt, you're so charming when you try to be funny. Try? Take it back. That was a great joke. <laughs> sure. I love you, you know. You trying to make me cry? Siri never let me forget it. Go on, get. I really like that CD Projekt Red, the developers of the Witcher game series, actually inserted this tidbit of a tender moment between Triss and Geralt in the original playthrough back a few years ago before they patched it. We didn't get to witness that tender moment. Had you chosen Yennefer, you would have been able to witness that tender moment. There was an outcry from fans of the Witcher series as to why, after Triss being the main love interest, not only in Witcher 1 and 2, but Witcher 3 as well, depending on your choices, why wasn't there a tender moment between her and Geralt? Well, fans got their wish. That's the one thing that I can say about CD Projekt Red. They listen to their fans immensely. And they do their best to try, of course, to stay within their creative direction. However, they, they did a great service by some of the things that they inserted into the gameplay. Uh, Post-patch, I guess if you want to call it a post-gameplay that wasn't originally in there. Well, guys, we are getting close. Time to take on the wild hunt. I am Zoltar424. Thank you for watching. Come back next time as we tackle the wild hunt again. Zoltar out.